Hello everyone and welcome back to Absix Plays Persona 3 and today we are going to start by turning in a couple requests because I was fortunate enough to be able to finally fuse that persona that Elizabeth has been wanting for a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to accept that and I'm also going to accept uh, the homunculus one because I didn't realize that she wanted me to bring her a homunculus so I'm going to complete a couple of these. Uh, where are you? Don't need that yet. I need you. Yes, I'll accept. And then I need you, and I'll accept. I did create a... Oh, gosh dang it. Okay, so I'll do this one first. I don't know what the other one... Oh, okay, I do now. You seem to have completed a request. Just a moment while I check. I see you've obtained a homunculus. An artificial creature created by man. It lives only to die, unaware of its sad plight. Thank you for showing me such a rare thing. I think I have like five of them. Please accept your reward. Um, precious egg, cool. Is there anything else? Yes, I'm gonna accept another request to turn it in as well. Probably opened up something new for her too. We'll see. Anything? Nope. Okay, so that. Accept request, yes. Don't worry, it's already completed. You seem to have completed a request. Just a moment while I check. I see you have Batala with you, and he has the skill Maragi. Mar I don't know how to say these. Uh, well done. You have fulfilled my request. I have a different reward for you this time. With it, you will be able to create King Frost. Oh, I needed that. Cool. If you're strong enough to control this persona, then give it a try. Please accept your reward. Obtain the sugar key. Okay. Um, that actually makes me wonder. I'm going to offline for a second to see how to make King Frost. Okay, I might actually be able to make King Frost. Let me see if this version works. I need to register anybody. Um, I'll register you just because you actually are pretty good. And I think I might be getting rid of you right now. Because... Uh, no, I don't need that. Yeah, I also had a fusion mishap by getting Legion. That happened. I, I fused a couple personas. I've got some decent ones. And that's why I'm actually going ahead and trying to get King Frost now. Because... Um, Basically, I have a really good fighting persona, but I don't have a great magic persona. So, wait, what? What do you mean I can't add any more personas? How many do I have? Oh, I do have a bunch right now. So yeah, let me go ahead and fuse. Yeah, this is a great way to start the episode with a lot of fusing and things. I forgot. Okay, so I need to keep you. Uh, you can fuse with that to make Ganga, okay. Um, can you make anything else good? Oh, I also went up three levels. I don't know if I said that uh, between, but yes, I did. I did level up a bit. Uh, Ganga again. I have Mothman now. I can't make you... Oh, King Frost right there. Hello. So I could just make it, and I'm losing... You who I barely use, and you who I don't use. You have Mabufu, Bufula, Dodgefire, Bufu. Okay. Um, yes, I will make you. Is that level 5? Uh, that's fine. Yes, because I want King Frost. Don't have another fusion accident. Yay, King Frost. Cool. Uh, so now I do need to open up, I believe, two more slots still. So that way I can get Jack Frost and... No, just one. I need to open up one more so I can get Jack Frost and Pyro Jack and see. I think it. I think it would be Black Frost that those would fuse together to make. I don't know what level I need to be for that, but it would be worth keeping those guys around until I get to that level because that will be a pretty decent persona. Um. So now another normal fusion, and we'll look at what can you fuse with. Um. I don't want to get rid of you, though. So let's look at Legion. Uh, can you make anything good? Better than I have? Uh, no, I don't want to give up him. He's my best right now. Um, let's look at getting rid of Taraka. I don't even know who you are. Um, I can make another Mothman. Don't care about that. Uh, ooh, I do use... He's getting a little underpowered. To make something for the death. Could make... That. that might not be bad. Let's take a look at some of these real quick. 
Uh, so look at you. You're pretty cool. You've got... Nothing great, though. And I begin to... Ooh, I do not want to get rid of him. Uh, yeah, what was I thinking? I want to highlight Lamia right now. Uh, I do use Lamia a little bit, but you are way better... Uh, what would you get? You'd get the fire and a healing and raging tiger. Um, I'd lose Mamudo, but that's okay. And yeah, you got some better moves. Yeah, why not? I'll do it. I've been saying I need to fuse some personas for a bit. I don't intend to make a whole lot of in-game progress this episode. I just plan on doing like two or three days. Getting us a little bit closer to the full moon. I think I'm going to try and... Try and do a couple quick ones to lead up to the full moon. Um, I also discovered... Because like I said, I went up three levels. So I discovered between episodes... I'm still at the point where I can level up relatively quickly. Oh yes, that's a good healing ability to have. Thank you. Yeah, I can level up relatively quickly still. So... I'm not too concerned about having to level grind between episodes. So I think for now, that might be my go-to. I might still just... I, like I said, I went up three this time. It did get a little harder there near the end. So I think that next time I will go ahead and just do like maybe one, maybe one and a half. I also spent a shit ton of money on Personas between episodes because I was doing a decent amount of fusing. Okay, let's see if I... I don't think I'll be able to do this but it will give me a good, like, this is the level I need to work towards point. Uh, cross, can I make? Oh, I can make Black Frost. Um, Mudo, Bufulu. Let's see if I get some better abilities. Growth 1 isn't bad. Ice Boost. Um, that's not terrible. I want to see if I can get something a little better. If I get that ice boost back, I might call that good. Uh, don't need the dodge fire. No, come on. Ice boost. Uh, yeah, I'll be okay with that. So, except. So he'll be a pretty strong one, too. And that did clear a lot of space for Personas. Okay. I'm feeling a lot better about the Personas I have now. Because I have a pretty good physical fighter, a couple good magic users, I think. And yeah, this should be good. For now. So I'll be able to leave Tartarus, and I'll be able to go burn through a few days before coming back to Tartarus, and I still think I'm gonna try and level grind as much as I can. Let's see, uh, escape for most battles. That might not be bad. Um, medium chance, medium, medium, light, decrease all those defenses won't be bad. I need that. Is this one ally? Ooh. You know, I don't need that that bad. Yes. Okay. And with that, I have now fused a decent amount of Persona, so I'm going to finally leave the Velvet Room. I'm going to leave, thank you. And we're going to go get through a couple days. If I can, there we go. Okay, nope, get out of the way, Ken. I did end up bringing Ken, Yukari, and I guess with me. Um, primarily Ken and Yukari, just to kind of grind them. I just Ken, I kind of honestly flipped a coin. I think he, I think he asked, so I just kind of said, yeah, sure, why not, kid? But that was a long time in Tartarus not doing a whole lot. But that's okay, because my goal is really just to get, uh, like, to the end of Sunday. And this one kind of set myself up to three days, basically. Three days of three, which is different than how I've been doing it. But we'll see how far, or how, I guess how long the episode is by the time I get there. You ever hear a conversation? Those incidents with the unconscious people, is it me, or do they seem to be getting worse? No, it's not just you. They're definitely on the rise. It's all over the news, too. The whole thing makes me uncomfortable. What if it started happening all over the world? H hey, don't say stuff like that. The first bell is rung. 
Okay, so no class. Please don't be a class. Uh, who wants to hang out? Yukari's a baby. Fuka's not a high priority. Uh, are you free after school today? Uh, I'm not sure yet, because you're not a high priority right now. I see. Well, if you don't have anything to do, could you please come talk to me? I'll be at the usual place. Now, uh, if Fuka wants to talk with you, maybe you should meet her after school. Maybe? Yuko, Yuko and Yukari are going to take precedence right now, um, and so is Maiko, because I want to finish someone. Um, Class dinner for the day. Yukari is not there. Kaz is over there, though. So that means that Yuko probably isn't available. She is not. So, sorry, Fuka. I'm actually sacrificing your day to finish a social week. But it's all good. Um, yes, please. I need to go to Naganaki Shrine. I'm going to finish Maiko's story. And then, yeah, like I said, I'm, pre I'm basically planning to just do three three episodes of three days. Uh, slow down just slightly between uh, now and the next full moon. Just because it has been a crazy week for me. So, I'm not going to go into details, but yeah. Oh, hi! What are we going to play today? It seems Michael wants to play with you. Um, yes, because I should be spending time. Should be finishing my, spending my time with you. Um, what should we do? Mako seems happy for the last time ever. Hey, come on, let's play on the jungle gym. Okay. You're chipper. Then the seesaw, kick the can, we can play them all. You played with Maiko for a while. Whew, I'm tired. We played enough for you to remember me, right? Don't forget. Uh, yeah, sure. I won't forget the kid I've been hanging out with in the park for a while. Michael seems sad, but she's smiling. I'm leaving today. Oh, you should probably go pack. And Dad said, even though we're far away, we're still a family. I think that should go for friends like you and me, too. So I don't have to be sad. I think family is important. They are. I, I agree with that. Do you think I'll have a family of my own one day? I bet you will. I sure will. Michael is very happy. So, um, oh, don't have a crush on me, kid. When I grown up, can we be mom and dad together? No. Nope. Uh-uh. No. I have to think about it. But you must. We're supposed to get married someday. No, we've just been friends. Michael seems disappointed. Keep this, okay? I made it just for you. Obtain bead ring. Thanks. Because one day we'll be trading vows, right? No. Nope. Maiko is blushing. Apparently Maiko just proposed to you. Aw, shucks. I thought I'd always be the bridesmaid and never the bride. Uh, yep. And so ends the creepiest social link of the mail route of this game. Now, because of the announcement about the Persona 3 Portable, I'll probably revisit Persona 3 on the channel at some point, and things will get creepier. Spoilers for what's uh, what's coming down the road. Um, yeah, I never have to see you again. Um. Okay, I don't care. Close your eyes, Kate. No, because you don't. Maiko kissed your cheek softly. Run away. <laughs> don't be embarrassed, dude. Hee <laughs> hee. Don't get cold feet. How did you get down there? So, I'll see you. You can't forget me, though. Goodbye, what's your name? Oh, the creepiest. Creepiest social links are the ones with kids, everyone. Sup, dude. Sup. The next full moon's coming up. And since Shidori's getting better, I think I should start training again. Oh, have you not been there? I guess I haven't even tried. Besides, those apathy freaks are popping up everywhere. Okay, be nice to them. Do you want to walk? Okay. Uh, bedtime it is, I guess. Because I don't need anything until the first is when I can get the oil from I guess. And then I have to turn it in right away. No. 
No. <laughs> no, I don't. Not even gonna ask. Uh, sleep earlier. I do like going to Tartarus in great condition. That's one of the best parts about the way this has been playing out for me. Um, hopefully Saturday's a Yuko day. I think she's available more than one day, but I've only seen her one day a week. Uh, condition improved because she rested. Who are we talking to? Oh, God damn it. Do your seats, class. We'll begin. Haifu mi yo aimu not What the fuck ever. This is math class normally, yes? Miss Miyahara isn't feeling well, so I'll be filling in for her. Of course she's not. Since you came here expecting a math lesson, I'll talk about numerology. Numerology is a type of magic... Oh, god damn it, dude. It's math. It's math. Stop it. Which sees the world through a system of numbers. Essentially, its practitioners converted matter into numbers. Numbers have power, and numerologists take advantage of that. It said that the first numerologist was Pythagoras. Uh, I mean, okay. That's... I don't care. You may know him from the Pythagorean Theorem, but he's also famous for practicing magic. Of course he is. Everyone you know practices magic, you piece of crap. He and his pupils researched what they called Pythagoreanism. They realized that everything that exists in the world corresponds to a number. It's four. Four is that number, by the way. They considered odd numbers masculine and even numbers feminine. I guess it means everything in the world is feminine. Hmm. Who knew? They also verified the existence of holy and unholy numbers. The Pythagoreans focused on the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4 because they add up to 10, which represents completeness. They considered these four numbers to be the holy numbers, the most important of all. They're called the tetra... whatever. Can I sleep in this fucker's class? Others later developed on the foundation laid by the Pythagoreans. More recently, there have been works done on the relationship between numbers and names. Let's look at this a little closer. God damn it, just let me have the option to sleep. I'll show you a method by which you can interpret your own name's meaning. Be sure to include your middle name, too. Now, convert each letter into a number, one for A, two for B, and so on. Add the numbers for each letter in your name. If a letter has a two-digit number, like 14 for N, add the two digits together to make it a single digit. By the end, you should have a number between one and nine. This number represents an individual's overall personality. Based on that number's properties, you can derive the person's general characteristics. Is this like the Enneagram? I don't know. Is this like a weird version of the Enneagram? Are you all listening? I hope this talk of numbers hasn't put you all to sleep. No, you put me to sleep. How about a little test to see if... Oh, fuck, whatever. Get it wrong and blah, blah, blah. blah. Taught me my sleep. Whatever. Who should I pick? Yeah, I know. This fucker broke me. What is the collective name for the four holy numbers of the numerology? It's that. That's correct. The actual tables predicted a happy future for you. A few more words on numerology and names before- No! No, no, no. I don't care. Numerology can also be used to discern your inner self, public persona, your future, and so on. Convert the vowels in your name into numbers and add them up. That reveals your inner self. Then take the consonants and do the same to get the persona you display in public. Using the same method with your birth date will calculate your future. Be sure to use the Christian era dates in this calculation. It's also possible to assess your compatibility with another person using numerology. Is that, should I do that with like all my girlfriends then? By adding the digits of your birth date to the others, you can. Well, you're not, uh, if, sure, the one part that's somewhat interesting you're not going to explain? I don't even care. I don't care. God. Okay. Um, I think Yuko... Hi, Yukari. I think Yuko's available, which, if I get her the rank 5... Oh, please get her the rank 5. Yes, she is. What's up? Hey, Kazuyukun. You know about the club at Polonium Mall, right? I heard there's a monk who goes there. He even drinks and picks fights. Yes! I can't believe a monk would do something like that. That's what I heard, at least. You received information about a monk that frequents clubs at night. Hey, I don't even have to hang out with you. I'm gonna go hang out with Yukari. Awesome! I got the information. What's up? Hey, Kazuya-kun. Are you walking back by yourself? I'll come with you. It seems Yukari wants to walk home with you. Um, oh, cool. I have a lover persona. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, I'll accept. Great, let's go somewhere. 
Hikari seems excited. Uh, points? Probably just points after how the last one went. Yeah, points. Uh, if your relationship is growing... Could become stronger soon, okay. Getting dark out. So I have to go back to the dorm. Nice. So I wonder if I can trigger the monk today. Because that'd be a great... Hey. Hey. Yeah, triggering the monk would be a great way to pad out a little bit more time. Because like I said, I just plan on finishing Sunday during the day, this episode. Making, like I said, three shorter episodes just to kind of keep... Trying to balance gaming and life, unfortunately. I hate when that happens, but it is sadly the state that I'm at right now. Let's check Escapade. No, I don't I didn't want to talk to you. I don't care. Uh, Escapade. Is the monk up here? Monk. Mr. Monk. Monk man, what's up? <laughs> Where's my booze? Lazy, the lazy-eyed monk is drinking. You must have enough courage to talk to him. Booze, where's my booze? I don't got nothing to say to anyone who doesn't have any booze. Okay, let's go talk to the bartender. What's up? No, I tried to talk to the bartender. You. Huh, you want a drink? You're underage, aren't you? Oh, it's for the muck upstairs? I see, in that case, how about you do me a favor first? Can you go around and take everyone's orders? If you do that, I'll, I'll bring a drink upstairs for it. Okay. So, what do you want, green shirt girl? Are you trying to hit on me? Oh, you're just taking drink orders? <sighs> I have a screwdriver. Wait, make that a margarita. Okay. Um, scratch that. I'm going to go with my original order. Okay, so green shirt wants a screwdriver. Dancing dude. Huh? What do you want? Are you taking orders? In that case, bring me a ginger ale. Wait, I changed my mind. Make that a oolong tea. Okay. Margarita. Oolong tea. What about you? You're taking orders. Okay, can I have a margarita? Okay. And you? Hmm, what do I feel like? Darn, I should have checked my horoscope. No, she didn't want me. She wanted a, a screwdriver. Okay. Uh, for today's lucky drink. Maybe I should get an apple martini. No, too sour. Any long tea might be good. Wait, that's kind of boring. I'll have Bloody Mary. Okay. Sitting girl, pigtails, Bloody Mary. You are margarita. Dancing dude is long tea. You're a screwdriver. Okay. Did you get everyone's order? I think so. What was the girl sitting in the back one? She wanted a Bloody Mary. Hmm. How about the girl standing in front of the chair? Uh, she wanted a margarita. Hmm, I see. And the girl that's dancing? She wanted a screwdriver. Hmm, I see. And what about the guy over there? What does he want? He wanted an oolong tea. Hmm, I see. All right, I'll get started on the drinks. Did I do it? Hey, you got everyone's order right. Thanks for your help. So, what was it you wanted? Oh yeah, the drink for the muck upstairs. I bet he wants brandy again. Okay, I'll take it to him. Hey, awesome. You told the monk that you ordered some brandy. That must have impressed him because he started talking to with you. You look awfully young, kid. You're still in high school. What are the employees here thinking letting you in? Well, since you got me a drink, I'll pretend I'm your parent so you don't get thrown out of here. Well, come on, kid, sit down. I'm having to look up at you know, strain on my neck. What's up? So, you want to see where adults spend their time, eh? Well, don't worry. In two or three more years, you'll be old enough to hang out up here unsupervised. Just take it easy, kid. You'll be legal before you know it. No need to rush. Acting like an adult only makes you look more like a kid. Huh. I guess that sounds funny, coming from an alcoholic drinking cigar smoking monk, eh? Uh, does alcohol taste good? Some say it does. I just drink to get drunk and make me feel good. You seem to be optimistic about the future. Well, don't get your hopes up too high, kid. That way you won't be disappointed when things don't work out, true? True. Think low, everyone. Think real low. That's uh, your positive advice from Habzix for the day. Because then you'll have to smoke and drink just to get through the day. You're nothing like those punks I see running around town these days. Can't say the same for my son, though. <laughs> Always been taken in by the police for questioning. I'm going to remember your face, kid. And next time you come in here, I'm going to have you thrown out. Got it? Okay. You seem chipper about that. You became acquainted with the monk. Yes, I got the monk man.
Um, uh, tower? I think he's tower. Yep, that's tower. Ah, uh, you've established a new social link. Ah, uh, you're getting sleepy. Well, when you've had your fill, go home and don't come back. All right, see ya. And I guess I'll go to sleep early again. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, uh, yep, you can be disappointed as you want. Uh, where, 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 what will you do? Ugh, I'm gonna sleep early. And then I guess I'll hang out with the dying kid. And then I'll probably call an episode. And I'll probably go the Tartarus between episodes again. Level grind again. Try and get a few more levels up. Um, there's no school today, so yeah, let's go see. Let's go see the kid at the shrine. The dying kid at the shrine, I guess. Not the little kid at the shrine that I'm never going to talk to again. There's a difference. He should be a scene also, because I've only hung out with him once, so we shouldn't be point gathering this early. All right. Uh, Nagaki Shrine. Spent a lot of time. This is a very religious episode. A time that only spent time at the shrine and with a monk. Uh, I guess I went to the cafe with you, Kari. That happened. Hey, what's up? Oh, it's you. Why don't you have a seat? This bench is too big for me alone. It seems Akinari would like the pleasure of your company. Uh, would you like to talk with him for a while? Yes. Then this bench shall be our meeting place. Akinari seems happy. You're not like the others. Uh, how am I different? I didn't expect to see you again. Usually, people don't come back. I can already smile sadly. No points for that? Nobody treats me like a normal guy. Not even my family. I can tell by how they look at me. The pity in their eyes is unmistakable. He does have sad eyes. I don't need their sympathy any more than I need their curiosity. I'm sorry, but I don't expect anyone to pity me. Dying isn't so unusual, is it? What is there to gain by staying in this world for a long time, anyway? Never thought about it like that. They say that necessity is the mother of our industrialized society. And yet fire does not realize that it's burning away. Not exactly foolishness, but sad, nonetheless. Akinari shook his head. Hey, thanks for coming today. You don't seem like everyone else. I'm not sure I know how to describe it exactly, but you don't look down on me the way everyone else does. I appreciate that. And I appreciate you. Akinari seems intrigued by you. Your relationship is stronger now. Uh, well, uh, yeah, two. I've only hung out with you the one time. Ah, uh, Power of the Sun... Damn it. What did I do to deserve this body? Wheeze. <laughs> I hope we can meet again. You decide to go back to the dorm. Dude, it's the fall. Put a couple jackets on if you're wheezing already. Welcome back. Thanks. Then with that, I'm going to go find Fuka, because I kind of want to go to Tartarus, but I'm also going to call the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, feel free to like, subscribe, and share, and enable notifications, so that way you can stay up to date on content. Next time, we're just going to, once again, do a couple days, make them a little bit quicker right now, and we'll be starting in Tartarus again. But if this is your first time checking out any of my videos, go ahead and click the video there in the corner. It'll take you back to the beginning of Persona 3. And if you like what you see, head on over to the video section where I have plenty of other great games, and there's always more stuff coming down the pike. But in the meantime, I hope everybody stays safe, and I will see you all next time.